Right, we've got a digital amplifier chip here that needs removing. There is a dead short on, uh, on one of the supplies. Um, I've ruled out other components on this board, so it can only be the amp chip. Uh, what I'm going to try and do is just use the preheater to get it up to 130, then 150, and then just try and use uh, chip quick uh, on the pins and uh, see if we can just lift it straight off without using any hot air. There is a substantial um, heatsink plate on the top here. Uh, I don't think it's bonded uh, to a ground plane underneath, but I could be wrong. Um, but uh, we'll try and get the uh, chip quick up to temperature and uh, lift it off that way. If not, we might then have to go for the, uh, the hot air. So I'm just going to fire up this preheater. Which may not actually be plugged in. Uh, hang on a sec. Yeah, it's definitely on. The little bulb I've got down on the floor isn't. Oh, that's because the uh, I've got a little uh, mains lamp connected to this, just so I can see when it's on. But uh, as it happens, the um, the lamps come off of the connection. So not to worry, um, we've got uh, 26 and 23 on these thermocouples. Just adjust that one a bit better, that's it. Just protected some caps on the right hand side with this silver foil just in case we do need to uh, go with the hot air. You recall the setup, I haven't changed any of this yet. Um, we just have the, let me zoom out a bit, which we can't do, it. yes we can. Yeah, just got the uh, temperature set on the PID, a solid state relay, on off switch etc. And we have a couple of meters up here and uh, we've got yeah, around 50 on those at the moment. So uh, hopefully this will come off without any issues but we'll find out soon enough. <laughs> I'm going to do this video from cold so uh, you know you can skip through to any relevant sections later on in the video if you feel inclined to appreciate that some of these videos are a bit long and not everybody can be bothered or has the time to uh, to view them or, you know the full way through. We're up to uh, 70 and 66 on these thermocouples. A bit of smoke coming off of this as usual. I must uh, make up some sort of extraction system I think that will be the next the next project I did talk about this uh, previously but I haven't got around to doing it yet a little stick of uh, chip quick here uh, where are we there you go unfortunately I purchased the lead free version which seems nowhere near as good as the leaded Right, we're up to 87 and 84. All I've done is used a fibre pen just to clean these pins off a fraction. I'm hoping just to be able to apply this uh, as it gets up to temperature. And uh, just lift this off. But we'll see. That side gone around 100 degrees, and the other side's just reflowing now. So 
whether that will lift off or not at this point, I don't know. So 110 now. So this could have a ground plane underneath. I should have looked up the ship number probably prior to uh, doing this and just had a look at the specs. So we might need to get the hot air onto this when it's up to temperature anyway. Put the cooling fans on. Right, one thirty and one twenty one on the thermocouples. And there we go. I'm just going to turn the heating off and we'll see if we can just... Um... Well, actually, I know I'm not, I was going to try and wick this off on the preheater, but I'm actually not going to bother with that. I'm going to uh, uh, do this on the, uh, on the bench the other side. So yeah, that was pretty uh, pretty painless with the chip quick. I'm just going to lift this board off. Don't want any uh, any excess heat in this. So we're just going to lift that off. I'll just show that to you. Hopefully, if this will focus, let me just zoom out. So that was a where are we? Yeah, fairly. Substantial chip removed. Just got to get the chip quick off. No other components disturbed. So uh, yeah, that was a, a good removal. Uh, hopefully the short will now be gone, and we just need to replace the IC. <laughs> All right, catch you later.